is so big, it takes 15 minutes to drive in from the gatehouse. 255 rooms. The entrance is through the palm court, a garden indoors. The house was built by George Vanderbilt, grandson of Cornelius. It took five years to build. The art alone is worth a fortune. Welcome to the banquet hall. This room is so enormous, it takes three fireplaces, each over six feet tall, to heat it on a wintry night. Burr. And, of course, this is the dining room table. Cozy, wouldn't you say? Seats, 64 people. And I understand the acoustics in this room are so perfect that if you sit here, you can hear me at the opposite end of the table, even if I whisper. Perfect for gossip. This is the master bedroom, designed by Mr. Vanderbilt himself. Exquisite taste. But the most remarkable thing is when you walk over to the window and look outside as far as your eyes can possibly see, all of it was owned by the Vanderbilts, even the mountains. Since George Vanderbilt was a bachelor when Biltmore was planned, there was a bedroom built for his mother. The Vanderbilt ladies must have found all this luxury to be very much what they were accustomed to. George's wife, when he married, was Edith Stuyvesant Dresser, a direct descendant of Peter Stuyvesant. Her portrait by Boldini hangs in the library, not far from his. And this is kind of fun, a china doll actually owned by the Vanderbilt's daughter, Cornelia. In fact, the clothing on this doll was worn by many of the children at that time. They had plumbing, rare for its day, but George liked wash basins of gold. Coming back to the real world for a minute, this is a typical bedroom where one of the 80 servants who staffed the Vanderbilt estate would sleep. It's small, but efficient, except for the bathroom at the other end of the hall. It's not much different from your average hotel room at the turn of the century. In the main kitchen, the greatest European chefs prepared the Biltmore's famous dinners. No worry about cleaning up. There were more than 80 servants just in the house alone. Without the latest gadgets to work with in a house of 255 rooms, you sure have to hand it to the servants. This is an original Thomas Edison light bulb. Looks a little different. Burns just about as bright, but this bulb will last for 30 years. I've really enjoyed sharing this dream house with you. And if you're considering building one of your own, just keep in mind that $5 million went a lot farther in George Vanderbilt's day. This is Adrian Allen at Biltmore Mansion because Edward J. Neiman of Cincinnati, Ohio, you asked for it.